My name is Justin Lanzen, also known as Scroll. I'm from Adelaide and I play for the Mind Freak Valorant team. Uh, I've been gaming pretty much since I was like five years old or so. And it's definitely because of my brothers who are like a decade older than me pretty much. We're all super competitive and we still love the game. I played uh, CSGO for about six years or so before coming into Valorant. I think playing CSGO taught me all the fundamentals to be good at this game pretty early on. It was nice seeing all the familiar names uh, I haven't seen for a decade come back to play this game and uh, compete against. Is there a pro player I look up to in terms of skill? It's probably Boaster from Fnatic. I think his team is the most strategically sound and he's the ideal for it. And his streams where he just analyzes his own team and that of others is quite respectable. I respect the man a lot and he's also quite a funny and charismatic guy so that's, that's a bonus. Is there anyone on the team that you find annoying? I mean, I don't have an issue with anyone. We all get along quite well, but if I had to pick, it definitely is Norson. The man is 21 years old and he's still trying to ratio people on Twitter. If he doesn't get the likes he needs, he'll just ask all his friends like through DMs just to like boost the firm, which is kind of pathetic. So yeah, not a fan of him. Do you have a memorable moment in your career so far? It's probably during the stage one close calls. Our first game was up against uh, Shidiots, which was a team that didn't really practice too much and then weren't taking themselves too seriously. And we barely like managed to scrape a win against them. We were down like probably six rounds or so and we won in overtime and it didn't feel too great just to barely win that game. Like we're meant to be beating them quite convincingly, especially after being signed to Mind Freak. The very next day we were uh, versing Team God Squad who were um, considered the best in the region back then. We were popping off individually, we were counter shredding them. Like although we lost, the vibes were a lot better and it kind of gave us motivation to do well and continue to grind as a team. One, two, two. Nice, one right Two, two, two take the 100. Nice. Last one back there. 50 HP. I think as of right now, there's a lot of contestment for the number two slot in the region. But I think our team has the strengths of having a lot of big heads. Not big heads as an ego, but a lot of uh, great minds, you know? So that gives us good ability to critique our gameplay and analyze, which gives us focus points to work towards in our next couple of practice matches. So the ability to rapidly improve gives us the edge to make it to the finals of the next championship, I believe. I don't know if I have any long-term goals, but right now the focus is to do well and uh, get it to the last chance qualifiers coming up. But not just get in, but also put up a fight against the NA teams. So I don't just want to get stomped and like be sent straight back to Australia, you know? I want to give us a good name for the OCE region. And yeah, 